Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today we're going to be talking about the Mana Spiral that uh, just got announced for Galaxy. Actually, we've known this was coming since the beginning of the month or so. But we finally actually know what the details of the Mana Spiral are. So I'm going to go over them, give my thoughts about them, and then actually going to look at her fight to see if it's something that's actually doable. Um, that Veronica fight, by the way... Not doable solo unless you have the most amazing light team. I don't know, man. That was rough. That was very bad, but also I think I'm in the worst spot for um, light units, so it takes a, it's a good idea to look at the, the requirements of the Trial of the Mighty and have a real deep look. But anyway, that's today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps up the channel a whole bunch, and I like hearing from you guys in general, so let's do it. This is Galaxy again. I feel like it should have been Cerise, but at the same time, I think um, Galaxy has probably suffered just a little bit from the Hility. So having some tools to her um, skills and what she does is kind of actually needed. So let's uh, let's go in. And that was something that someone who uses a whole bunch of Galaxy told me, and it's like, oh, I didn't, I had no idea because I don't really use her as much. I thought she was still perfectly fine. She is an extremely good uh, five-star adventurer. <laughs> so she's really only getting this for the Nihility um, buff. So let's see what she does. Code 14 Conviction, it's a shareable five. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts burn. If this skill is used during Eden mode, a variant called Eden Code 05, Gervera will be used instead. Eating Code 05 Gervera deals damage to the enemies directly ahead and inflicts Scoringed. Okay, that was not what was there before. Damage 213 over 4 hits, skill energy required 2476, 5571. That was a shared skill? Really? Oh, okay, I was about to say, if you get the, the burn and the Scoringed from the other one, but you don't. Um, burn lasts 12 seconds, triggers every 3.9 seconds, damage 97. Uh, Eden mode, um, damage 126 over 6 hits, 76 damage over 2 hits, and 100 damage over 4 hits. Skill energy required 2,476. Not, cannot be used when it's a shared skill. Um, scoring lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, damage is 41 over 6. Eden mode. Grants the user the Fig effect and activates Eden mode. During Eden mode, uh, Fig will automatically attack foes. Uh, this automatic damage will not be treated as skill damage if this skill is used during Eden mode. A variant called Eden Code 01 Kiefer will be used instead. Eden Code 01 Kiefer deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Skill energy required 7732. Special effect is Fig, lasts 30, 20 seconds. In Eden mode, 570 over 3 hits, uh, 626 damage over 1 hit, and skill energy required to use it the in the second mode is 3736. Coal ability standard attack damage up 20%, chain co-op ability flame above 10 hits equals wind resistance 10%, resonant hearts 3, grants Laxia charge gauge with 3 bars. The charge gauge fills with standard attacks, 4 strikes, and dash attacks are used. The grants Cumulative buffs to Laxi based on the number of bars filled. Filling one bar increases defense by 25%. Filling two bars increases damage uh, skill damage by 20%. And filling three bars increases strength by 20%. Laxi's charge gauge will not fill when she has fig effect, and the gauge will be reset and all the above buffs lost when fig effect is removed. Mana Keen 3. Reduces susceptibility to stun and sleep by 100%. When Laxi is hit by an attack that would have stunned and put it to sleep, her strength is strength by 15% for 10 seconds. This increase will not stack. and activation, the buff will not activate again. Critical Frenzy 3 increases critical rate by 4% for every 15 hit combo, up to 3 hits per combo, and adds 4% of the modifier applied to critical damage each time. One of the user's attacks is a critical hit, up to 10 times per combo. After activating, this critical damage increase will not activate again for one second. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, will not activate again for one second. These buffs are removed when the combo counter resets. Also grants the user a strength amp of a maximum team amp level of 3 for every 15 hit combo. After the amp is granted, it won't grant it again for 30 seconds. Okay. Um... Alright, so some positives in Galaxy. Of course, 
Uh, it's the fact that this skill now can has the ability to burn and give scorage. Obviously, you can't do it at the same time. It has to kind of go through two different modes. But having the ability of have double affliction, I think, I think Galaxy is the first flame unit to get double affliction, which means she inflicts two. Um, she inflicts both burn and scorch. Basically, that's what double affliction means. I think that's true. I'm I'm pretty sure it usually is burn one, you either burn or scorch at the time. At this current time, and it's because fire is already extremely good, so they didn't really need a unit like that. But I'm gonna assume that due to her losing her buffs on Resonant Hearts three. They decided, well, during the Hility, they decided to just give her two afflictions. Which I think is nice. It's still, I think, a bummer that she loses this. Uh, this is not Nihility proof, so you're going to lose a lot of these buffs. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you should you should still be losing them. It's going to be hard to check because we won't be able to check until someone gets her fully done, but I digress. Um, the skill 1, great improvement. Skill 2 looks... Just all, it was already good, so it's just slightly better. Uh, having the strength amp on crit is pretty nice. Um, she's still the same good unit she is, except for now she's slightly more nihility proof. I don't know if actually with the stat increase, she might be extremely good for Jabba Jabadaya. What the fuck is that? He said say his name Jabba Jabaduif. Jabba the evil guy from Persona 5. You'll be able to kick his ass that much harder with the galaxy now um which is kind of what they're hoping for with these kind of spirals so pretty good spiral they i think she they've done more to her than they've done some of the other gala spirals uh because some of the gala spirals have been like uh for example galaranzel still the same <laughs> no real difference but they feel like she's uh gotten a pretty good boost to stuff so um that's very nice now, obviously, let's check what her trial of the might is. So you're going to be fighting Agni. That's obvious. Where are you, Agni? Is it going to be here? One moment as I find fucking Agni. Here it is. Okay. Not Eugene. You're later. Uh, eligible elements for him is... Whoa, one moment. Sorry about that. All right, let's get back into it. So the eligible list is water, lance, bow, mana caster, staff. So let's go to water. Let's go lance, bow, mana caster, staff. So actually, let's start looking at lance. Um, you got Catherine, Thjorm, Zangfried, Gold, Elisen, Jacob, and Sabella. Uh, pretty good lineup, actually, I think. Um, Fjorm is extremely good. I personally like Catherine, even though I think not a lot of people do. Or more, it's more likely that, um, she's just not as powerful as the other ones, I think. She seems to be used the least out of all of them. And Zenfi is very good. Um, in terms of the four-star, LSA, it's got you covered. Gald, I don't... It's strange, because Gald is, like, one of the only dudes of this race that we have, and he's a four-star. And I've never heard a thing about him. Um, but Elisane is extremely good. Still good. And Jacob and Sabella. I like Sabella's um, shared skill. So that's kind of how... That's my main thing with her. But I like her. I like Sabella personally. As a... And as in anything. So now let's look at... Bo. Right? That was the other one. Bo. We got Pinon, Hunter Cerise, Lorelania, Dragon Yule, Nefaria, and Walk. Not very much for these, honestly. This really sucks, because uh, if you don't have any of the five stars and you did summon during Christmas, your only option is Walk. There's just not a lot of options. Now, to be fair, if you do have Hunter Cerise, she's extremely good. Laronia and P I think Pinon's pretty good, even though I think I mostly see people using her shared skill. And I forget, I, you had a Mana Spiral, right? From what I remember, you actually had a very decent Mana Spiral. Yeah, so she's going to be pretty good for the fight, I would assume. 
staff. I've already addressed how my current feelings. Nurse Eileen did get a, a mana spiral, so if you've done a little bit of that, you have a little bit of helping in that department. Uh, Zhang and Dragon Yo Lily, both extremely good healers if you have them. Uh, Thaniel Rickard, I think Than uh, Rickard is extremely good for um, being a budget uh, healer, but still an extremely good budget healer considering what water has to offer. And Thaniel needs a Mana Spiral. And finally, Mana Caster. You got Sharpshooter Cerise, Yoshitsune, and Lapis. Uh, if you have any of these, congrats. I have Yoshitsune, personally. Um, so if you have the ability to have any of them, it's actually pretty funny when they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna finally allow Mana Caster and Bubble, and we're like, finally. I didn't realize the Dire Straits that was the Water Bow. God, that's just... I didn't realize that they never have... They don't have a 4 unit that exists throughout the banner. That's crazy. That's insane. I've never heard of that. That's crazy to me. But anyway, I digress. Uh, hopefully it should be pretty beatable. Unfortunately, for whatever member of Agni, Agni was a pain in the ass to actually fight. Um, so I could see this being extremely tough. And honestly, if he has something like um, Nihility, <laughs> uh, at least she'll be able to beat him on extreme. And that's actually what matters. Um, Master is really only for people who want to get that extra little bit of free stuff they give and uh, I guess for bragging rights I personally always farm extreme I do master once for a video and then never again the only one I haven't done for a video is uh, this one right here because it was such a pain in the ass I didn't want to deal with it on camera so yeah that's the end of the video everyone I hope you liked it I think Galaxy is looking pretty good. This fight looks like it could potentially be extremely tough because I forgot how annoying it was to deal with Ogni. Uh, especially if they give him that ability that he has in the Void battle. Oh god. They're gonna bring that ability back, aren't they? Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!